Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. You can see here there is a simply supported beam with the hinge support on one side and the roller support on the other end. And 2 kN per meter is the distributed, uniformly distributed load acting on this beam up to the length of 6 meter from this end. And concentrated load, there are two concentrated load, one is 5 kN acting at a distance of 6 meter from the left end and 8 kN acting uh, at a distance of 2 meter from the right support. So we have to analyze this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment and also to find the support reaction. So the first step will to find the support reactions and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment. So I will consider this is A support and this is B support. And we want to find the RA, reaction RA and the reaction RB. So to find the support reactions, we will take the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. So let's consider that the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero all the moment summation is equal to 0 at A and we choose that our clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. This is our sign convention. So according to this we will uh, we will find the support reactions. Now starting from the RB. The RB is acting anti-clockwise around support A. As you can see here that this force is acting in anti-clockwise direction. So it will be minus RB and the moment arm is this whole distance. As you can see here, the moment arm is 6 meter plus 4 meter plus 2 meter, which is 12 meter is a hole. So this is the whole moment arm for this RB, which is 12 meter. Now the 8 kN load is acting in clockwise direction. As you can see here, this is acting in clockwise around support A. So 8 into moment arm. The moment arm is 6 plus 4 is 10. So it is acting clockwise. So this Y is plus sign. And then is 8 kN and the moment arm is 10 to 10. Then again, we have 5 kN acting in the same direction, so also clockwise, and the moment arm for this is 6 meter only. You can see here the moment arm for this force is 6 meter. So 5 into 6. The other force is distributed load, which is 2 kN per meter. So we have to find the, uh, first of all, to transfer into the concentrated load. So 2 into 6 meter, we will get the concentrated force and then this force acts at the midpoint of this load. So we can do it, it is acting in the same direction as the concentrated load, so it will be plus 2 into 6 and 6 divided by 2. Because this force will act at the center of this uh, kind of uniformly distributed load. And summation of moment will be equal to 0. All the summation of at point A is equal to 0. So we found out all the forces, all the moments at the summation A and these all are equal to zero. Now we can shift this one into the right side so it becomes positive and we can find its value. So 12 into RB is equal to this one becomes 80, this becomes 30 and this one becomes 36. Equal to, sorry. So this becomes this value. Now the RB comes out to be adding these all values and then dividing by 12 so we will get RB comes out to be 12.16 kN so this value is now 12.16 kN this is the support reaction at RB now to find the RA we will we know that summation of forces in vertical direction will be equal to zero this is for equilibrium in the vertical direction so I can uh, put the values like the forces acting in the upward, upward direction should be negative and the downward direction it should be positive so 5 and 8 are acting in downward direction 5 and 8 and also this one is a distributed load which is 2 into 6 then RB is acting in upward direction. Similarly, RA is also acting in upward direction. Summation of R force is equal to zero in vertical direction. Similarly, by putting this value on the right side, RA comes out to be, and solving this value, our RA comes out to be 12.833 kN. 
so we found our RA which is comes out to be 18.3 sorry which comes out to be 12.83 kN so this is the way how to find the support reactions now with these support reactions we can easily draw the shear force in bending moment now to draw the shear force diagram is we give the support reactions RA and RB now shear force diagram so the RA is 12.83 kN so this means that I can put this line up to the distance of 12.83 so let's suppose this is 12.83 kN now this was acting in upward direction so I mark it here then this uniformly distributed load is acting in downward direction which is 2 into 6 2 is uniformly distributed load over a distance of 6 meter so 2 into 6 we get 12 kN it means 12 kN load is acting in the downward direction and 12.3 acting is upward direction so 12.3 in upward direction and subtracting the 12 because it is acting in down, downward direction so we get 0.83 kN so we still have here 0.83 this point we still have in positive sign so it means in the upward direction so I can bring it down because the, this load is acting downward and it will make this force in decreasing direction as you can see here this force at 12 kN is acting upward direction 12.83 and this uniformly distributed load will reduce this load and up to uh, up to unit of 0.83 kN and then the 5 kN is acting downward here at this point so I can add that 0.83 is acting positive and 5 is acting downward so we get 4.16 negative sign so it means 4.16 coming downward so this is minus 4.16 kN again there is no load so I can draw the horizontal line and then there is again downward load of 8 kN so minus 4.16 and minus 8 it comes out to be minus 12.16 kN which is which should must be the same value as this support as you can see here these values are same so it means we we did the right calculation so this will come downward because the force is acting downward so it will be again downward comes out to be minus 12.16 kN and then there is horizontal line because we have no load horizontal line and then again we have 12.16 so it is again 12.16 so this is our uh, shear force diagram we can say it's negative negative and this one is in positive now with the help of this shear force diagram I will draw the bending moment so to draw the bending moment diagram we should know the area of the shear force area shear force area so let's consider this is the area of the shear force and you can see here that this is a trapezoid you can see here this shape is trapezoid I can mark it here with blue this is still trapezoid it's not a rectangle or triangle but you can see here that it looks like a trapezoid like this way so I can find the area of this trapezoid by by adding these two heights 12.83 is this height we add this height dividing by 2 and multiplying it with the horizontal distance horizontal distance is horizontal distance is 6 meter this one is 4 meter and this one is 2 meter it's given here multiplying it with this horizontal distance which is 6 meter so we can find the area of this trapezoid which comes out to be 40.99 kN it means that my moment here will be 40.99 kN meter kN meter because this is a moment not the shear force so this is my shear bending moment value at this point how just find out the area of the trapezoid in this case it is tra trapezoid sometimes it's like rectangle you can see this is rectangle this rectangle but here it is trapezoid so you should multiply this two value 12.83 in this one height and then dividing by 2 multiplying with this horizontal distance you will get the area of trapezoid and you will get the bending moment here now again this is in negative direction 
it will be subtracted from this 14. So the area, how to find this area of triangle? This is a rectangle. So the length is 4 meter you can see and the height is 4.16. So I can find out the area of this rectangle 4.16 is the height and 4 is the uh, length of this rectangle. So I can find out 16.66 kilonewton meter. So this is the area of this re rectangle and it is acting in negative direction. So I will subtract this from the 40. After subtracting, I get the values of 24.33, 24.33 kilonewton in meter. How I get this value? Just by subtracting the this value 16.66 from 14, 40.99 and 16.66, I get the value of 24.33. So this is my bending moment here at this point. Now again, to find the area of this rectangle, uh, I know the, the length is 2 meter and the height is 12.16. This is the height is 12.16. So multiplying the 12.16 with the length which is 2, we get the 24.33. So sub this is a negative, so again we have to subtract and subtracting 24.33 from 24.33, I get the value of 0. So my bending moment is zero at both the supports and these are the respective value at the other ends. Hope you, are, hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. First you have to find the support reactions, then to draw the shear force from the support reactions and then to draw the bending moment according to your shear force area values. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.